Hey guys, Cal here bringing you another video. This one is the strategic rush series where we're just upgrading offense and then going. Currently we are Town Hall 10, upgrading very soon. We're actually wanting to go to Town Hall uh, 11 in this video because we're pretty much done here. We just need to upgrade the Barbarian King or uh, we just need to upgrade those heroes which it looks like it'll take one more day, but upgrading this is two days. So being a little bit ahead of schedule is always great. You never really want to be sitting around uh, kind of waiting for an upgrade to finish. Like you don't want to be upgrade your heroes and then go to town hall when you just could have been upgrading your heroes a bit more. So uh, we're just upgrading wizard towers because it doesn't really matter what we're upgrading. I like the wizard towers, they're cool. We got the important defenses, like the air defenses down, which will save you a lot when it comes to those Electro Dragons, making it so that if someone's spamming you, uh, there is hope. Things can go wrong for them, and you can just snipe out all their um, drags. So, as you notice, we do have a army that looks like this. We always forget to destroy that little poison spell. Boom. Gone. This is the army we use, this is the war army we use, so we started using it in farming. Everything's only level 1, um, which sucks of course. It would be nice if we farmed enough Dark Elixir to really upgrade these troops. I think we might start upgrading the bowler. Um, but because we might be going to Town Hall 10, 11, preferably in this video, we might not even have to really upgrade. Or because we're going to Town Hall 11, we'll probably just go E-Drag and call it a day. So, but we're mostly switching up because we were minor farming and it was, it was just so bad. <laughs> it's really so difficult to, because they just kind of go and it's kind of, it feels RNG-ish. Sometimes a dragon comes out of the CC and you're just like, dang, I really wish I had a way of dealing with that. So, uh, even though my troops are way too low, um... We're getting about the same amount of the base taken out. Uh, with Siege Machine, of course, you can, uh, you'll get more value and we kind of do need the Siege Machine to kind of get what we need to get done here, but just because of the low levels. But sometimes, like, this can take out Town Hall 9 even with the low, low levels. Um, and sometimes you can push into the middle like this. Of course, the Siege Machine does a lot of heavy lifting when it comes to uh, the destruction of the core. But uh, when you're really attacking with a Town Hall, or this Rush series where you have no heroes ever, um, it makes it so that you're not actually using your raid medals on those hero potions. He'll just be using them on the power potion. So you're actually saving uh, quite a bit of metals through not having to constantly boost those heroes. And it makes it so that you can just spam into the base and actually have a potential of taking it out. I wasn't actually expecting a 3 star this base, but it looks like it could happen. Yeah, if these wizard, uh, if these witches stay alive in a way that is good. We should be golden here. Yeah, it looks like we should be fine. I don't know how this Yeti is going to do it, but I think this Yeti on its own should probably be able to take out the rest of the base. So, we're going to start off with a three star. Here, it's not much. It's probably one of the, I don't want to say it was, it's the least entertaining one. This one requires the most amount of grinding, which can be a little frustrating when you, because you really know when you're set behind. It's very obvious because your heroes are up and your builders aren't really busy. Um, but there, you don't really get to do much with the account. This is technically the most efficient way to kind of build it. Well, no, not anymore. Uh, the most efficient way is rushing, and I've actually been enjoying the rush series a lot, making it so that you feel really powerful because of the new changes done. Like, I was going to make a video on it, but we didn't record, um, just because the war attacks don't tend to get a lot of views, but... We were able to take out the one with our um, base, with our rushed base, which in the past is like 
mm, it would never happen. Um, and the fact that you can do that now makes it seem a little silly to be doing this. But this one is, uh, for the long run, going to be more rewarding because you won't have you'll you'll have the heroes. You'll be able to farm and do participate in Legend League, um, which is arguably more important than wars, dependent on who you, what type of person you are and what you want from the game. But being able to essentially do your fun attacks just outside of war is, is nice. You just have to be a bit patient and it's whether or not you value the, that patient. It's because the reward isn't as high as it once was. Your, your patience isn't going to be as rewarded which could be a marketing something like to incentivize people to rush so that they feel like they need to upgrade their bases quicker to not get three start all the time so they spend more money maybe that's like an angle that they're trying to take here but um there it's it almost feels like you're being punished for <laughs> doing a base like this because of how much you're missing out on uh, it feels like whenever I log on this one, it's pretty much all you get to look forward to is farming because you can't really do anything else with the With the non rush series you actually have Every all the troops maxed out. So you actually have the power to Just like three star bases whereas this one we're really only upgrading one troop and If that troop doesn't really work out for you like the miner which worked out really good in the beginning but kind of fell off towards the end and especially now because of the siege machine being or the cc being able to be bought it makes it so that a lot of town hall nines that you want to fight up here in it's not it sounds silly to say up here in gold but it's hard to get out of gold now it's like <laughs> it's hard I mean, there's so much like variance you can hit a town hall nine you can hit a town hall 11 but i think that the trophy system might have to be changed but at the same time i don't even know how they would do that but it makes it so that you can just shove your 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 troops your defense you can have a dragon or something in the cc so we're seeing a lot more um like dragons e-dragons balloons you used to never see that um because you would need to request it and people would want to have to give you defenses and mostly People don't give defenses because they want to save it for war or they're in a clan that says you have to have a certain donation ratio so having defenses just was annoying but now it's really easy and we're seeing it a lot with the dragons and the e-dragons really donking on these minor strategies so a little change in the metal has happened and that's why I've switched to the 10 10 10 which is a fun attack strategy one that I always use at town hall 10 when I was warring however it really does require those heroes to help in the core because they kind of just die but that's where the siege machine comes into play it makes it a little bit easier on us so uh not much else for this video we're just gonna oh yes much for the video we're supposed to upgrade the town hall Woo! we're going to town oh you want me to upgrade only the giant that's crazy that's fine <laughs> we're gonna go anyways heck the giant boom and here we go, we're going to Town Hall 11, which is great. We have, uh, do we have anything? Yeah, we have this. So we're going to be able to go straight into the E-Drag um, immediately upon upgrading. I'm actually going to buy the, this now. Go straight into the E-Drag, no wasting time. I'm going to start cooking that up and going straight into attacks. It's going to be very beneficial for us, allow us to actually be um, able to 50% bases. And maybe even three star a little bit easier and kind of jump over the struggle that was town hall 11 in the eagle artillery so hopefully you all did enjoy the video and i hope to see you in the next one peace